Welcome to the race by race preview for Sha 10 on Sunday. Paul Lally is always here to pass on the selections. We've got eight races on the A plus three turf course and two on the all weather. Race number one at one o'clock and this is a class four. Smart City has the tongue tie going on. Midori Burley wears cheek pieces for the first time. Mr Dapper blinkers off cheek pieces again. Soaring Broncos had three trials and special hedge. Two starts for two placings course and distance. The speed here, Paul, from Starline, who's on a seven-day backup. He went forward last week. He did. He led last time, and so I expect him to go forward once again. Special Hedge is another alternative leader that could go on with it. Uh, Soaring Bronco likes to go forward. Smart City, uh, who's downgraded. Mr. Dapper in midfield there with Smart Beauty, and Family Jewel got back at his debut run this season. Perfect pairing. Midori Burley didn't really get back. Didn't have too much room in the straight. Now, first replay, Family Jewel. Was he travelling OK at the time? It was a bit hard to tell because there was uh, blockage down the lane. There was. Uh, look, the one thing in his favour is he's up to 1,600. And he's always looked like he needs that uh, sort of little bit further. Does uh, Family Jewel. A couple of fourths there. Yeah, look, he, his momentum was definitely stopped there. There's no question about it. Uh, he's got the quick back outs. He's obviously come through this race with, with no issues. And uh, once he got into the clear air, there, there wasn't the race was, was off and gone, and he sort of made some good ground late. So, as such, I think uh, he's a chance again. That is a family jewel replay number one. Second one is a trial for Mr. Dapper up at Chung Fa. Karis Teton on board him, and uh, he wins this trial beating Team Happy. Yeah, he's well rated now. He's uh, he's won off a rating of 51, and he's uh, less than that in this particular contest, off a rating of 50. His win was off uh, over the course and distance as well. Uh, he's drawn nicely in barrier two. I think he'll get a, a good run just in behind him. So I think yeah, on the back of this trial, this will top him off nicely, and uh, he, he could be the one to win. There you go, Mr Dapper on top, and uh, the horse has won over the 1,600 metres off a rating of 51. So... Just a one point lower than that. Special Hedge, this is his trial last time at uh, Shah 10. Not a bad quality trial. Aurora Ladies raced since. Chu Chow Spirits raced well since. And we've got Special Hedge working through in between them. And he wins and wins it well. He does. Look, he's been placed quite, uh, twice over this distance. Uh, he's won off a 46 rating. So he's down to 42. So he is capable uh, of doing it. I've got him in on a, on a minor line. I thought it was a nice enough uh, trial from him. You go. So uh, that is him winning by around half a length. That is uh, the replays for the first. What is the makeup of your top four? Going to go, with Mr. Dapper, on top. I think he'll just get that lovely run in behind, and uh, he can win. And uh, Smart Beauty he had looked really good last season, but mostly in Class Five. But I think he's capable here in Class Four. Give Family Jewel another chance, and Special Hedge. We just saw him five seven three nine. Karis Teton and Douglas White for Paul to combine to win the first race at Shah Tin on Sunday. Class 5 gallopers step out for race number two and they run the distance of 1,400 metres. Gail Saga, Chateau Lapiche and Merchant Prince all on the class drop. Verbi is on a seven day backup and also drops in trip from the 1,600 metres. Excellent Daddy's backing up too and he has one second up in the past. Volcanus has the blinkers coming off and Ho Ho Star, he steps up 200 metres after charging home last week. We've got speed here, Paul, from The Concentration and Dragon Delight. Yeah, I think these two can sort of lead. Uh, Verbier led on his seasonal opening, but sort of faded out of it. So I think they'll try and take a cover with him. Uh, Shunwan Glory goes forward, but he's drawn wide. Uh, Merchant Prince will get a nice rub. Ga Gail Saga's a downgrader. He won't be too far away. Chateau de Peace has been sort of coming back in trip here, so he should get back. And Super Joy generally misses the start. But also on the all weather is Super Joy. We had to Ho Ho Star last week running second. This was a big finish from him. He trial well leading into the race. Excellent Daddy White around the, the home turn. He's just not racing well, excellent Daddy. No, he's not. Um, so look, Ho Ho Star definitely is. He's going to go in for me. Uh, up to the extra 200 metres looks good as well uh, for this horse. Once he got into the clear, he finished off really strongly. So he is a horse that's going well at the moment. He's got Zach Purton aboard. And uh, a not really nice finish for him. So, yeah, he goes in. 
120 pounds dinner ship with uh, amazing fun going around later in the program also so at least two chances for dennis you would think uh the concentration this is his trial on a rainy chartin morning that's aero invincible who you're keen on later in the program outside of him yeah and uh, look i don't mind the concentration in this race uh, he's a bit of a one-hit wonder at the start uh, but he's going to lead, and uh, I think he's going to put himself right in the right position. So, um, yeah, I do like the concentration. I think he can he can go well, and I did like this trial. He was sort of just pushed out a little bit, but uh, Aero Invincible is going really well at the moment, as you said. So that is uh, the concentration running second. Carried 131 pounds to victory in his lone race day win, the concentration. Now, the Khan runs fifth here. He's a horse that has had uh, the nine starts yet to run in the money. Beaten favourite last time too, draws Barry number 10, Hugh Bowman and Casper Founds combine with him. Yeah, a couple of fourths are the best we've seen from him and he always looks like he needs a bit further because he's been running on, uh, he ran up over the 16.50 last time. He's drawn Barry number 10, so I think they're going to have to go back with, with the Khan. So look, I was just happy to watch him in this race, but uh, he, um, look, he, as you say, he, he, there has been plenty of support for him, he's been beaten favourite a couple of times. We'll leave him where he is. Volcanus wins this trial. He's actually had two. He read in the air and was tailed off in the first one, so backed up again and beat Magic Traveller. Um, he was up on the speed here, covered a bit of ground on a wet, slow, all-weather track and stayed on. He's yet to produce anything like this on race day, though. Yeah, that's the thing. When we've seen him actually trial like this last season as well, he trialled quite well. The horse last there in this trial, Dragon Delight, just running past a couple. I don't mind him. I think he's quite well rated at the moment uh, with the with the seven pound claim from Alice Wong and drawn well in four. So, um, look, this will be a lot different kettle of fish on. Uh, Sunday than it was at that trial. And you much prefer him on the turf to Dragon Delight. Right, yeah. So he's in your selections. Yeah, he, he comes in, into my selections. But I am going to go uh, with the horse we talked about earlier, the concentration on top to beat Dragon Delight, Ho-Ho Star. And one sort of slightly outside the square is Gail Saga. It was a better run from him last time, and he's now been downgraded, and he's got the informed Matthew Poon aboard. So it's 2 six, 12 and one he has had a great start to the season, has Matthew Poon, has another six or seven rides at Sha Tin on Sunday. That's race number two, the first of the Class 5 races. Twelve hundred metres is the distance of race number three, and we step it up from a class five in race two to a class four in this event. Exuberant, well, he's on the class drop for his second look at chart ten. Bulb Emperor has the tongue tie going on. Super Infinity wears cheek pieces, as does Jubilant Wonder, but he's had the shadow roll removed. Always Fluke has won a trial, as has Omakasi. Uh, King Oberon has only had the one start for Douglas White and was placed in that race. An urban triumph, his win was in class five. Where's the speed appear from here, Paul? A firm, he likes to go forward and lead. Omakazi's led in a recent trial as well. He won't be too far away. Always Fluke won uh, fresh up last season, uh, the similar meeting. So he, he's another one that can go forward. I thought My Flying Angel, he's had no luck with Barrier draws this horse and he's drawn wide once again. Super Infinity is probably the likely favorite in the race, should get a nice run which is a perfect lead into our first interview. Tom's been out at Sha Tin earlier today and spoke to Zach Purton, Re Super Infinity. Zach, Super Infinity resuming after three good runs last uh, preparation. Didn't quite get his nose in front, but uh, talk us through what you thought of his first preparation. I thought it was good. Every run was a good run. Um, he drew a couple of awkward gates there and he doesn't help himself at the start. So he was getting out of his ground, but running really good races. Uh, and then his last start, he begun a bit better, put himself in the race. Just had to find a run there uh, in the straight. It looks as if he had his chance and just peaked on his run. So one thing he's, he's got to learn to do is run through the line. Uh, he's got that short, sharp sprint at the moment, but that only takes you so far and doesn't win you many races. So um, that's his challenge, but his trials have, have been decent. Uh, his Achilles heel is the start. He can quite often be slow out of the gates and whenever you do that in any race here in Hong Kong, it makes it hard for you. You were aboard in that most recent trial of for his. He looked like he had a, a pretty good turn of foot in the, the straight over the last 300. Yeah, he did and, and I sort of just wanted to let him down and to see if he could run through the line a little bit more. And yeah, he's, he's still not the finished product, but um, he's getting there and he's obviously shown he's got some talent. It's just a matter of nurturing him and Mark's doing a good job with his horses. He's doing a good job with his horse. 
he's not in a hurry with him. He's just trying to guide him along on his journey and and allow the horse to improve as, as he's able to do so. What's the theory with the cheek pieces this weekend? Yeah, just uh, we, we put them on him in a, in a jump out and he just seemed a little bit uh, more focused and got the jump a little bit better. So uh, with them on, we're just hoping he's going to be a little bit more focused in the gate instead of possibly looking around at other things that are going on. You mentioned Mark Newnham, he's got off to a fly this season. What is it about Mark's training style that's so suited here and what he's producing through these opening two meetings? Well, I don't ride much work for him, so I don't really know what he does in the mornings uh, too much, but uh, his character is just very laid back. He's not flustered by anything. Um, he's not worried about what anyone else is doing. He's just taking his time with his stable and his horses. He's got a nice handle on where they're at and what he wants to do with them and I think he's just very comfortable in his own skin. Zach Burton there on Super Infinity. Other horses in the race, Paul, which have trialled up include Always Fluke. He will carry 124 pounds. Had one of the apprentice riders on this morning. We're looking at, at Chung Fa. He beats uh, Cash's Cash. He was up outside the leader and looked to do it quite easily. Look, he only won fresh last season off a rating of 49. He's rated very similar here at 48. So another one that's capable and maybe this is the time to catch him in a fresh state as well. Uh, not nice enough trial, I, I thought, from him. So I'm going to include him on a minor line. I thought it was a nice uh, trial from him. By starts at 1,400 for, or 1,200 for one win and a third. Omakase has always trialled well and has again leading into the race on Sunday. Leads all of the way to beat New Power here. He hasn't produced it on race day, but there has to be something there with him. Yeah, you'd think so. He's been a bit of a morning glory. And look, he's an alternative leader. You can see him sort of lead all the way. There's, I think, a firm will lead, though, because he, he sort of likes to get his uh, bib in front. But and, and saying that, it was a nice enough trial from Omakasi. I just want to see him do it on race day first, though. And fair enough, too quick and nicely right near the winning post to go away and score. Does Super Infinity add to the Newnham total? He does. I think he will. Um, look, he had a good prep last season. I think we're ready to see the horse this season. So he's on top. I'm going to take a firm in there for second. Uh, he did step way up and trip towards the back end of the season, but he's going to be right in front. Another one that goes well fresh. Bulb Emperor. Now, he's only had the four starts. His best run was the back end of last season and it always fluke with a good fresh record. 4-10-3-7. So Super Infinity for Paul to win the first leg of the early treble. On to race number four, it's the second of the class five races. The second division is also over the 1400 metres with circuit blazing. Now with Benno Jung, Hood Pacifiers and Tung Tai all gone. Perfect Peach last start winner carries an extra three pounds. Class droppers Island Golden and So Awesome. Lucky quality on the one week backup. Visor and Tung Tai come off him. We've got Cool Blue having his first start for the new stable. Soaring Tower now with Dennis Ship and the Blinkers and the Tung Tai have been removed. So awesome, Island Golden here, Paul, are both going forward with uh, them appearing in Class 5. Yeah, look, um, there's no real leader. So Island Golden has gone forward in the past and uh, he's drawn wide, so I thought he might try and get outside. So awesome, he might eventually cross him, but I think they'll really take each other on. I think there's going to be an overly abundant of speed in the race. Lucky quality can go forward. California Icon, Go Hero is another alternative leader from a low draw. Uh, cool Blue's been getting back. We'll see what he does for the new stable. And Soaring Tower gets back as well. Our first replay. Lucky Quality is in this. He raced last week, so he's had a start. What did you spot from Servan in this race? Because he hasn't done a whole lot. Runs on into sixth. Was that what caught your eye? Uh, and up and trip. He's by Holy Roman Emperor. So this is 1,200 metres. Uh, he's sort of been up to the 1,400 metres for the first time. And he just looks like a horse that's been sort of crying out for a bit of ground. Look, I think there's improvement there. You can see the way he sort of flattened out here late. He finished off the race strongly. Now, you can just imagine another 200 metres on top of this, the way he finished off, and that's what I was thinking. He, he was sort of close to third there, and he's got a senior rider on as well. He does. Hugh Bowman takes the ride on him this week. Next up, we go to winning form for Perfect Peach. He has had one trial, and it was a quiet one at that. California Icon 12th. Medical Elite's best form is at Happy Valley, but his last few that we saw at Sha 10... 
last campaign were actually pretty good. We saw a bit of him last campaign, didn't we? Uh, actually, and, and the season before. So we'll see how many starts he has uh, this season. He's obviously loves his racing. I'm going to put Perfect Peach in. I, I thought he was leading up to this win. This was his second win. Has won a couple of times now. Drawn nicely in barrier number four and finished off this race uh, nicely. So he'll go in the numbers. Perfect Peach. 20 starts last season for Medi Khalid. He's had three trials to get ready for this race <laughs> on Sunday. Uh, Island Golden and California Icon. Now, California Icon's done zip in five starts. Island Golden goes well first up. He does. Uh, he's drawn 13, so that's why I thought they might just press on and, and sort of get to the lead with Island Golden. Uh, look, I'm going to include him because he, he's got that really good fresh record. Uh, that was um, sort of one debut here in Hong Kong. He's down at this 39 rating now as well, so he's a well-rated horse. and I, I like the trial, so yeah, I, I don't mind him in this. He is in his Island Golden and trial form also around Bogos, who finishes eighth and was disappointing. So awesome's a two-time course and distance winner. One start in the grade and he won that when he was on the class drop last time. He did and look, he, I think he'll probably go forward so he'll give himself the opportunity as well. Uh, Bogos has been disappointing for me so look, I can't, I can't have him but... So awesome was right on the cusp for me, but didn't just quite make it in in the end. He didn't get his sole win last season. He usually just bobs up for one, but he did place three from nine. Did so awesome. He's stepping out for start number 45. Who wins? I'm going to go with Servan. I'd just give him, take a chance with a senior rider up to 1,400 metres, bred for it, and sort of finish off the season well last season. So he's on top. Island Golden with that good fresh record. Charmanda found a bit of form towards the back end of last season. And Zach Purton's aboard and perfect peach. So we've gone 5, 3, 13 and 2. And that is the preview for race number four. It doubles as the first leg of the Triple Trio. Not a bad race, race number five. There's a few uh, hopes in amongst them and we start at the top with Enjoy Golf who uh, he placed with the top weight last time, so carries the 135 again. Arrow Invincible's on the class drop, has the hood coming off. Oriental Tycoon now with Michael Chang is minus the pacifiers. Meaningful Dragon, cheek pieces off, blinkers go on for the first time. Fantastic Choice won a trial impressively, and a team happy. He raced wide when we last saw him. He's had three trials in preparation for his race day resumption. He led fantastic choice in that uh, trial, Paul, and he did it pretty well, but he does go to 14. Yeah, he does go to 14. Now, fantastic choice does like to lead, though. Uh, Orange with Tycoon uh, has got a good draw. Meaningful Dragon goes forward. Handsome Bomb was a last start winner, but he's drawn really w at wide, so he might just struggle. Um, I thought he era Invincible would get a fantastic run uh, and uh, enjoy golf. Back to Mighty Strength, um, who looked good uh, winning that race. Got three trials to have a look at. The first one features Enjoy Golf running second and Handsome Bomb. He ends up running eighth. He'll carry an extra six pounds, Handsome Bomb, for that victory on the 2nd of June. Out of the Chris So stable and Enjoy Golf at the top was a winner two starts ago. Hugh Bowman on board him for Frankie Law. Yeah, so it looks like he, he can carry weight. Um, enjoy Golf. He's drawn a barrier number 10, so that's just a little bit of a negative for him with Hugh Bowman aboard though. So look, I'm going to include him though because it was a strong win two starts ago and backed it up with a nice placing last time. It is Enjoy Golf, our first replay. This one is certainly going in because it is Aero Invincible. He's been in this grade twice for a win and a second. Four starts course and distance for a win and a second. Zach Purton, Pierre Rong, and he's your best bet. Yeah, I quite like him actually. I said some of the gorgeous win on the weekend where he came back down in grade and, and just won really well. I think this horse has sort of been... Um, crying out to get back down into class four that happens he was placed in class three so he's more than capable but with zach Purton from barrier four on and this nice trial under his belt i think he's going to be tough to beat there you go so there's the winner we'll find out who goes in for second third and fourth enjoy golf we've already seen this horse was in your selections a number of times last season only you he finishes third here and mighty strength as you mentioned is a last start winner he only goes up three pounds for the victory but does have a wider draw from the back end of last prep yeah he does but look i thought it was quite a strong win from him so i'm going to put him in on a minor, minor line only use well rated now he won off 57 when he did win last season he's down to a rating of 55 now he's drawn nicely in barrier number five i like the way he finished off this trial as well so uh, both these two horses will go in for me there you go and that is amazing fun who lines up in race number six winning that trial
Arrow Invincible is the one to beat, though. Yeah, I think so. Coming down in uh, grade, I think he can be uh, a good bet on the weekend. So he's on top to beat only you. Enjoy golf and mighty strength. Two, seven, one and six. Race five, number two for Paul to take the first leg of the six up. Two races on the all-weather on Sunday. The first of them is race number six, and post time for this one is a 3.35 local. Amazing fun. One start, one win. That was over the 1,000. He goes up seven pounds for it. Britton Kassa has the visor off. Shanghai Styles, a last start winner. He has an extra nine pounds on his back. A Robot Knights plays two, four, two from three for Pierre Ong. Mr Energia has the blinkers on for the first time. Hero Stars won a trial. Crazy Treasure. He's coming off the third behind Shanghai Style when racing wide. And Sonic Boom's a last start winner, but it was down in class five. So the speed map here, Paul, amazing fun with uh, Zach Purton combining for Dennis Ship. Where's he likely to end up as he's probably going to be the favourite? Yeah, look, I think he'll go forward. Definitely amazing fun. There's no question about that. He did go forward in a recent trial. But there's a £10 claim here from Hero Star. So I think Hero Star is the one that um, can sort of go on with it. Shanghai Style, we know, has got a bit of speed as well. So the only danger I've got with uh, Amazing Fun is that if he does get crossed, and he could be in a bad position with that kickback from Barrier 1. He could indeed, because uh, he is yet to race on the All Weather Under Race conditions. But the man who knows him well, Ray into victory on debut, it's Zach Purton with Tom. Amazing fun. I'm not sure you could call him an upset winner at sort of 15 to 1, but he flew under plenty of people's uh, radars. Um, how did you see that performance off what he'd produced in his trials? Yeah, well, we were hoping he'd go to the races and show us something. Uh, we thought that he might need a little bit longer, um, and it, it seemed like that for the majority of the race. He was struggling with the, the rhythm of it, and um, it was only in the last 100 metres he sort of finally got his act together and, and seemed to get the job done. But he seems a lot sharper this season. His trials in Trong Far have been nice. He's showed good speed and he's a little bit more switched on. So uh, hopefully that's the case. Obviously he gets the step up in distance here a little bit and changing surfaces. But I don't see either of those being a problem. Uh, he's drawn well. Um, but he, he just seems as if he's going the right way. There are a few horses out of that race that have performed well in the opening couple of meetings here as well, so that must give you some confidence with where he's sort of at with how they've performed early too. Yeah, it was a pretty solidly run race, and, and genuinely in fast run races, the, the better horses win, and the form is a little bit more true and stacks up. So um, it was no surprise to see the form out of that race uh, hold strong, and we're just hoping that our guy can just continue to improve. Quickly on packing power from Wednesday night, he was impressive again. Um, how much more do you think is in the locker with him? Well, hopefully a bit. Um, he, he doesn't feel like a natural sprinter. Uh, the 1,200 metre races, especially at the Valley, they've been really hard for him to get into his rhythm early on and he hasn't taken the corners out well. He's a bit gangly and off balance, but he's been getting the job done and I like the way he let, let down on Wednesday night. But, We'll get him back to Chartin now at the bigger track and um, try and get him out in distance. Being a four-year-old, um, head towards the Classic Mile if we can and it'll be up to him to see how uh, far he can go. Zach Purton there on Amazing Fun and also Packing Power. We head to all of the trials now, Paul, where Hero Star went really well in this trial and uh, will carry next to nothing on his back. £109 with Brittany Wong taking the claim. He has raced on the all-weather twice for a fourth and a fifth. Has he done enough to get in your numbers, though? No, he, look, I, I prefer him at Happy Valley, this horse, but look, he's drawn barrier number nine. Uh, he's going to get, as you say, you, you feel he, like he's loose there with that uh, weight on his back. Uh, Brittany Wong, uh, it's, he's a pretty uncomplicated horse. He goes forward. So, uh, look, he's going to be leading or be outside the pace. So it should be a good, good pace in the race. And that strive for glory midfield, and he's hard to catch too. Yeah. Got to get him on his right day. Although this one, from your trial watching, has caught your eye. Yeah, this is over a thousand metres. So he's twelve hundred metres with blinkers on on the surface for the first time. He's by uh, Swiss Ace, which is uh, a progeny that goes particularly well on the surface. Uh, he, he looked quite good at the back end of last season. It was a really good run, his last run. He didn't get much room in the straight either. I like the way he finished off in this trial, over up to the 1,200 metres with blinkers on. Thought he might be a bit of an up... He'd be a big prize, so hopefully we can um, get a bit of an upset with him.
There's your each way play with Mr. Energia. And uh, one more to have a look at. This horse won a big odds last time, Shanghai style. It was in July. He was better than 50 to 1. He had shown something at the trials, but hadn't produced it on race day. Crazy Treasures offered to deliver plenty of times too and just can't quite get that win. Yeah, he's been a little bit disappointing in that respect, but not getting his nose in front. Robot Knight's drawn wide, but uh, he'll be sort of looking for cover as well. But look, it was a, he's going to get a lot of pressure, Shanghai style, on this race because he's got, he's got the likes of Hero Star in the race and also amazing fun led in a recent trial, although I don't think he's going to get into a speed battle by any stretch of the imagination. So that just might be his undoing. Too much early pace for Shanghai style to be there at the end, but that will suit Mr. Energia. Yeah, that's what I've got. I've gone for one I think can finish over the top with the pace in the race, and uh, that's Mr. Energia. Blinkers on for the first time. Uh, amazing fun. Look, really good winning that race. Sonic Boom's the last start winner. He's another one that's going to be up there. Uh, that will be in Class 5. He comes in with the lightest weight. And Regent Glory, another one who's uh, really found his sort of niche here on the all-weather with a win in a second at the back end of last season. 7 1, 12 and 4. Paul going the each way play with Mr. Energia at hopefully a good price to win race number six. Seventh is the trophy race on Sunday. It's the running of the Tungwa Group of Hospitals at Challenge Cup and it's over the 1400 metres. First time in class three for Harmony Galaxy. Top peak is a two-time course and distance winner. Satirical glory now with Michael Chang. Shadow roll and crossover nose band goes on. Mission Voice last start winner carries an extra five pounds for it. Miles away has the cheek pieces going on. Stunning Mong Choi raced last Sunday and Mr Fox has had two trials, just the one this season since his last start and he will wear cheek pieces. Mission Voice is not a bad race this one, Paul. Yes, yeah, a good race. Uh, Mission Voice led all the way last start. Satirical Glory's got some good speed as well. Uh, Top Peak, um, he found some rare form, pieces of form at the back end of last season. Miles away, trialled well recently. Tater Gold's had a run already. Lucky Impact looked good on his debut run. And Sterling Wong Choi, another one who ran really well on his debut. Dragon Force, he's got an awkward draw. I think he'll go back from 11. Interview time again. Tom with the rider of a lucky impact. It is Karis Teton. Karis, lucky impact uh, lining up at the weekend, making his seasonal uh, debut. He's only had one run and he was uh, well fancied in the market. I, I know you didn't ride, but uh, visually off what you saw off the, the video, how did you see his performance? Yeah, um, I thought he, his first run was a good run. Um, I've, I have uh, trialed him before in Chung Fa and I knew the horse a bit. Uh, so I, it wasn't a surprise that he ran so well first time out. It looked like a pretty encouraging performance overall, the way he was able to, to run through the line solidly late. Yeah, uh, he looked like he finished off his race pretty well. He looks a bit uh, like he, he do a few things wrong. Uh, but when I think when he got the clear run, he was hitting the line strongly. And I think stepping him up uh, over over distance now, or 1400, will, will just be a bit helpful to him. You were aboard in his recent uh, barrier trial. Um, his gait speed, he looked just half a stride slow away? Yeah, like I say, he's still a young horse and he's still learning how to do things. So I think that trial will bring him on. Uh, he's got an OK draw, so... Uh, yeah, they're just hoping he goes to races and performs to his best. He's drawn barrier 7 of 11. Is it just a case with his gait speed and being a young horse, just riding him where he's comfortable in the run? Yeah, 100%. And like I said, the 1400 will just give him his chance to find his rhythm. And uh, yeah, let's hope uh, he can run a good race. That was lucky impact, Paul. This is Sterling Wong Choi from last week. He was triple figures in this race and last turning for home and he motors home to end up running third. So it's been by far his best performance and he was only beaten four and a half behind a smart one in my wish. One off or you want to see it again? Yeah, I want to see it again. Um, he'll get back again from barrier nine, but look, he's definitely improvement there. And he did show a little bit in the track in his track work last season. So there is definitely, definitely somewhere there with this horse and maybe he just needed a season to be uh, acclimatized because he did finish off nicely. He did. We move on now to the replay of Mission Voice. He wins this race. Chater Gold, this was his best performance running second, but it's that combination again, Ferraris and Newnham. Uh, and this was over the 1600, so he starts off the campaign 200 metres shorter than this race. Yeah, and uh, look, he he's obviously comes into it fresh, which is a good thing uh, for him. So the 14 would be a logical starting point. Um, look, he, he's gone really, really nicely and a good run from Chater Gold as well. I thought to finish off strongly along the inside, but um, 
I didn't mind the run of Mission Voice. I don't think this was a, a one-off. We know his horses are forward. They are indeed. He's had uh, the two trials, like most of them, to prepare for this. Now, King Miles hasn't done much so far, or miles away, King Miles has. <laughs> miles away hasn't done much so far on race day. He does win this trial. Uh, Divas 12 is the other one. Zach Purton rides for Chris So. His win so far has been 1,600 metres, so he's uh, kicking off on the back of uh, the trial before this one and then this one. Yeah, look, King Miles would be well on top in this race if he was in it, but uh, <laughs> miles away. Oh, again, I want to see him do it on the track. He's by Justify, so look, I think further for him, uh, 1,600. This is a good starting point, though, over the 14, and he's another one that's obviously acclimatised OK because it was a, a nice enough run there from him. They both wear stripes. They do. That's as close as I can get to it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, King Miles is not in the race. Miles away is. Is he in your top four? Yeah, different coloured stripes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, he's not actually. Oh, I'm not. Gonna, he doesn't. He doesn't go in for me. But Lucky Impact does. I think he he can win this race. A good fourth for him on debut. We heard from Karis earlier on. Mission Voice will be in the right position, and the stable's going well at the moment. Top Peak found some rare form last season. A couple of wins in the second towards the back end, and Divas 12 was quite a consistent horse last season as well. So we'll put him in on a minor line. But I think six can win it. Six five two four. Some promising types in race number seven, and if you want to tune in for the trophy race, it's at four oh five post time. Second of the all-weather races is race number eight. Barriers will position at the 1,200 metres for this, with Capital Delight carrying an extra eight pounds for his last start win. Packing Bowl, he's won first up in the past. We've got Self Improvement, who's a two-time course and distance winner. Talents Ambition, last start victor over 1,650 metres, kicks it off over 1,200 on Sunday. Viva Chaleur's had three trials. I Am The Boss makes his all-weather debut. An unpresuming coming up in grade. No blinkers, but the pacifiers with cows goes on him. He's got plenty of early speed pulled as packing bowl. He does. I think he can uh, easily lead this field. Uh, Majestic Colour will try and get outside him. Self-improvement's drawn wide. He just might have to work a bit to get out, out there as well. Magniac's drawn uh, the inside draw, and he's got a bit of early speed. Unpresuming should get himself into a nice position. Uh, Talent's ambition, he's way back in trip. He's back to 1,200. Here is a packing bowls trial from Chung Fa. He did what he might very well do in this race on Sunday. Well, he's going to lead, you would think, from Barry number two. But he kept on going here. Can he keep on going on race day? I think he can. Two starts on the all-weather, press of wind, and then uh, was beaten favourite when he was sort of nabbed late by Smokey Bear uh, sort of last season. So he does like the surface. He's only had the two goes on it. I like the way he quickened up here when he was asked to and then sort of restrained again afterwards. So he did what he had to do to win the trial. It was a good trial from him. Uh, he'll come on nicely from this, and uh, I think he is the one to beat. And Jerry Chow on board him for Denny Shum. He's one of your horses, Paul. Talents Ambition, the grey in a recent trial. It was over the 1,200 metres, same distance as the race on Sunday. It was very, very good, but his win last time was 16.50. On the surface as well. And uh, look, so he does like the all-weather. was a really good trial from him. I, I probably, I've left him out because of that, uh, the distance um, coming back to the 1,200. Maybe at my peril because it was a good uh, trial from him. Uh, but, um, look, yeah, prefer him up over trip. So from barrier 10, I think he'll get back. He'll be running on late, and he could be a last run reminder. All right, and the horse on his outside that he's finished alongside was Mugen. Super Wind Dragon, he does love 1,400, or rather 1,200 metres. He's a four-time winner at the distance. Zach Purton on board him for Chris So will carry 124 pounds. There's one fresh up in the past as well, uh, Super Wind Dragon. He, I thought he was a little bit disappointing towards the back end of last season and they set them up to the 1650 in that race that Talents Ambition won, uh, in fact. But he is better definitely over the 1200, pushed out nicely enough here to win this particular trial. Again, he was on the cusp. I thought it was a good race, this one, so there are plenty of chances. And it may not end there because we've got one more replay to have a look at. That's uh, the trials leading into the race. This was a rainy night meeting. Self-improvement second. Capital Delight wins. Super Wind Dragon appears here in Maniac. He ends up running 10th. He's had the two trials, has Maniac, and he's looked pretty forward in them too. Yeah, and look, I, I expect a good run from him. Uh, look, he, his win was off 74, and he's down to a 72 rating. He's drawn one, so I think he can get that uh, lovely sort of sit just in behind uh, the leader, barrier number one from him. So 
Uh, look, he's had the two trials. I think he's quite forward, and he he did what he had to do in these trials. It was a bit of a wet morning this one, and he ran on nicely enough. So, uh, I don't mind him. All right, that is uh, the breakdown of replays for the second and the last of the all-weather races. Packing bowl though, too fast from the front. I think yeah, I think he's just going to go straight to the front and keep going. So. Uh, I think he can win. Magniac can sit him behind him. I'm presuming uh, he's had plenty of work leading into this one. So uh, he's another horse who's uh, come in with a light weight. He did win off a 57 rating, so he's slightly higher than that at 61. And then self-improvement, might have to sit wide, but you can do that in the all-weather and still run well. We know he's an all-weather specialist. 3-2-12-4. Packing bowl, and there'll be another winner for Denny Shum, who's kicked off the season in great form. If he wins, it'll also be the win in the first league of the treble. <music> Flying 1,000 metres for race number nine, and it is a class three event. We have Carroll Street on the class drop, flying higher five time course and distance winner. Magic Controls had a stable change. Celestial Colours blinkers off, Visor goes back on. Summit Cheers is a two time winner first up. Eternal Fortune and Savvy Brilliant both make their Hong Kong debuts. Mighty Commander has a hood going on and Multi Super has the blinkers and the tongue tie left in the stables. Uh, we've got Speed here, Paul from Savvy Brilliant and Magic Control both. One's a newcomer, one's a relatively newcomer. Yeah, and Stellar Express should get a nice run from his outside barrier draw. Multi Super now has got the Apprentice Claim, so uh, look, he doesn't normally lead Multi Super, but with the Apprentice Claim, there's not a really a clear leader in this race, but he's going to be there. Uh, all Multi Super, Flying High, Celestial Colours has won a recent trial. Uh, Summer Cheers will be getting back, Mighty Commander and Phoenix Light generally gets back. Magic Control is where we kick things off here. Now, this is his recent trial at the end of August. We've got Kaying rising in this. He's had the one start. That was at Happy Valley, where he finished seventh behind Youthful Spirits. The trial looked very good, though. Nice trial from this horse. And he did bring some strong form from Australia as well. He did win over 1,100 metres a couple of times. Uh, Kaying Rising's obviously come out and bolted up the, the horse that ran second in this trial. I think he went to the, the trial to the line with plenty in hand. So he's a horse coming from Happy Valley to straight 1000 might suit. Another one that uh, is coming to the straight 1000 for the first time. He has raced over the 1000 at the Valley, has celestial colours also. He wins this and appeared to be doing it quite comfortably. Yeah, it was a nice trial from him. Look, I, I sort of I pegged him down as a Happy Valley horse. He's got Hugh Bowman aboard from barrier number three. So... We'll see how he goes. And Carroll Street was sort of pushed out and with, with not no speedsters in the race. I don't know if the race is really going to suit him. So that is Celestial Colours. Hubo will take the ride on near him. A couple more trials to have a look at. Stellar Express on the all-weather. Pretty typical John Size trial. This one sat wide, stayed wide, but he's going to get that run down the outside rail. Look, he did run a placing over the 1,000 metres fresh up last season. He's yet to win so far in Hong Kong from his seven starts, but there's numerous placings there, so there's definitely ability, and he'll get his opportunity from an, an outside barrier draw. You can see him, as you mentioned, he wasn't pushed in this trial whatsoever, did what he had to do and finished off well enough down the middle of the track. That is Harmony and Blessed winning that trial. One more to have a look at. Flying High runs 12th, but uh, he heads to his favourite course in distance, 1,000 metres. This is the newcomer, one of them. Savvy Brilliant, one start for a win at Mornington for Anthony and Sam Friedman as Galaroo. And Zach Purton's going to take the ride on his Hong Kong debut. Yeah, so nice. He's, he's trolled well here three times. I'm not sure how strong that Mornington form's going to be, but he, he seems like he's a horse, and he can only win it. And he seems like a horse that um, has sort of acclimatised reasonably quickly here in Hong Kong. The trolls have been good. So, yeah, I expect a forward showing from him. Four trials we've seen, and a forward showing for him, enough to win? I got him in second, actually. I thought Magic Control's trial was better, so uh, I thought it was a good trial from him to beat Savvy Brilliant, Stellar Express. And I've got Hasten Delight, and he's another one that's been placed over the straight 1,000 and did look good last season. Uh, four, 11, 6, 3. Magic Control at start two in Hong Kong for Paul to go home with his first win.
last race. This is a good race. It's race number 10 and it's over the 1400 for the class three sweet encounter. Race is well course and distance comes here on the class drop. Sunlight powers well above average. Starmac came through the four year old series and has trialled up really well. Low pan spirit, he's won two from three. Just the one go in class three and he ran sixth. Fun ticket is a three time course and distance winner. The Gears plays two from four course and distance. Greenwich has had two trials and super love. Dragon goes from the 12 to the 1400 metres. Uh, massive action led in a trial, Paul, and he kept going and will have nothing on his back either with a claim for Brittany. Yeah, he gets a 10 pound claim. Greenwich has gone forward in his last couple. Could be tricky for Lopan Spirit from barrier number 11, so he might just have to work tough there from the outside. Uh, fun together, should get a nice run. And he ran some pretty good races last season, so they'll fight her likewise. Beauty Glory will be looking for some cover. Super Love Dragon now, he, he's up and trip, so he might be slightly more forward. A uh, Star Mac has trialled really well recently. Fortunate Sun and Sunlight Power will go back. And this is a Sunlight Power up at Chung Far. He makes up plenty of ground in this trial, but that's just him. He's well above average, Paul, but he needs things to go his way. He does have that very good turn of foot, and if they run along, it's going to suit, isn't it? I think that they're definitely going to run along, especially with an apprentice on a sort of a front runner and a bit of pressure from other horses. I've got him in. He just doesn't map that well from nine, but he'll get back. He'll be running on strongly. So, look, he's he's definitely one of the main chances for me. And as you say, he just sort of looked a little bit green at times last season. And uh, with that season under his belt, we might see a really nice horse this season. We might indeed. Lopan Spirit seventh. This was a very strong trial from Star Mac. Luke Ferraris on board for David Hayes. Start 11. It was over a thousand metres. He's yet to run over 1400 metres. All of his racing's been further. Yeah, and he was like touted as a derby favourite at one stage. Was uh, Star Mac ran through the four-year-old series? Well, like this trial was a really good trial from him. He finished off really strongly. Uh, low pan spirit. No, he did win two. Uh, they were slow races, and he just sprinted off the front and won nice. He's not going to get those conditions in this race from Barrier Eleven. So I've left him alone. On to Greenwich, who wins this trial. He races OK first up. Second up's been the time to catch Greenwich. Beauty, Beauty Glory leads for home, and Mighty Steed ran fourth. He only had the one start. He finished down the track behind King Miles. Didn't have much room, but he draws 14 here. Yeah, so look, I want to see Mighty Steed do it on the track. Greenwich better to catch next start. As you say, he's better second up Greenwich. Nice trial from him. And Beauty Glory's drawn awfully in barrier number 13, so he'll need a lot of luck from his draw. So I've left these three up. Red pen straight through them for this race and uh, wait for other options for Greenwich, Beauty Glory, and also Mighty Steed. There is one more to have a look at. And that is Super Love Dragon. Here is his first start, fifth, his second last turning for home in this race. And uh, the winner of it is the very, very promising bottom up together. Yeah, I really like the way he finished off here over 12. He steps up to 1,400 metres. Won a couple of times in New Zealand before he got here. One was over 1,550. And he led all the way in that race and won by seven or eight lengths. So there's plenty of ability there. Now, he did have a roaring problem when he first got to Hong Kong. Uh, they had a. They did the surgery on him, and he's had three starts since. And those are the three starts he's had. He's ran really well in all three. So, tick for the vets there with um, this horse, Super Love Dragon, and uh, he's trialled really well since. So, I think he might be a bit of value with, with no weight on his back. Is he going on top? Yeah, I'm going to put him on top. I, I just really like the way he's been finishing off his races. So, Kara Seaton with 116 pounds, he's on top to beat Sunlight Power, Star Mac, and I'm going to put Fortunate Sun in. We haven't talked about him. He's only had the one start. Uh, in Hong Kong, and he finished off really strongly. He's got barrier 12 to overcome, but I didn't mind his run. 14, 2, 3, 5. And that is the race by race preview for Sha Tin on Sunday. We have the 10 races. The first gets underway at 1 o'clock, 8 on the turf, A plus 3, and 2 on the all weather.